We're the two gay reapers. Hey reefers, we're here today trying out the new Dibex from Red Sea. Red Sea have kindly sent us a sample so we can try out. So in the past few years, Red Sea have made it a mission to grow corals that are infested with pests. Weird, I know. But they've used these tanks full of infested corals to compare a wide range of commercially available dips and other repelling ingredients so they could both examine their effectiveness and their overall safety to the corals. Really looking forward to it. It's a totally different type of dip than others on the market. It's not iodine based, it's more herbal based. It has some really interesting statistics which Red Sea have put on their website. Red Sea found that Dipex has a higher overall repellent efficiency than other dips on the markets and the corals had a greater survivability than some other dips. And it scored high marks on both repelling nudibrunchs, flatworms and red bugs. So interesting to see how it works in real life. So to test out the Dipex we're going to go through and show you how we dip the corals that we got last week. So the box states that it's effective against a lot of coral hitchhikers especially nasties like Acropora eating flatworm and also red bugs. So with a load of Acro, that's the type of stuff you want to avoid going into your tank. So this should be good. So we have about four liters of water in here. So that means we need about 40 ml of Dipex. And then we bathe it for 15 minutes, agitating lightly. So let's crack this open and give it a go. Good thing like all Red Sea products, it does give you a little measuring vial. Ooh, it smells surprisingly different. Have a smell. What would you say that smells like? Um, incense, not incense. Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's very floral yeah. compared to your iodine based dips. Yep. It's a nice change actually. Yeah, it's actually not bad. It doesn't smell too bad. Okay, so measuring is that, is 40 mil. Is that a cool milky sort of a substance? Is that what I'm seeing? It is very milky. Oop, oop, don't tip it out. So it's a very milky looking. Tuck your in. As per usual, agitate. Hey Siri, set a timer for 15 minutes. I love our assistant. Siri, Siri is very helpful. I have been told once you take it out to really give the coral a good rinse in tank water. 15 minutes later. Success. Okay. So we take everything out, give it a good rinse. In tank water. Mm, something coming off. Okay, let's have a look over here. To be honest, there's not a lot in here, but I don't expect there to be a lot because Nick's corals are generally pretty clean. Nick keeps his corals very clean. There's a few amphipods. But all all in all, I think it's a nice, gentler way of dipping corals. I think the iodine based ones can be a bit harsh, especially when you're then acclimating them into a new tank as well. So look forward to seeing how this actually affects the corals in the long term. Now let's get them in the tank. Let the 
corals all settle into the tank. Did notice one side effect of the dip is it does overflow your skimmer. <laughs> Four to six weeks later. So we're at that point of time in the tank's life where SPS is sort of touch and go. Most survive, some don't. With the dip X, we have had a little bit of loss, but the back half of this particular coral is still alive. And that's been about a month now. The Echinata's going good. The Robusta, oh my goodness. It's looking so good. I do feel it's starting to encrust right down the bottom there. This other half of the Echinata actually has growing tips right where it's been broken in half. The big coral, mind you, remember these are wild colonies. It has had some tissue loss. The base seems to be expanding and the tips are still growing, so... I count that as a win, especially after about a month. And lastly, the wall coral's doing really well. If the fish get out of the way, that brown spot there is actually glue from where I tried to glue it in the middle of the coral because, you know, it had encrusted on both sides of the piece. So I had to glue it somewhere. So you may notice there is a bit more SPS in here that we've got since we filmed the first video. It's been in here a week or two and it's doing rather well. There's no loss of tissues on those. The Dipex has seemed to work perfectly so really happy with the results. Thanks Red Sea! I think everyone should try this product. If you've enjoyed today's video, like, comment and subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, be excellent to each other and keep it salty, everyone. Bye for now. See you guys. Hitchhikers, including Acropora eating flat wall. Let me say that again. Flat wall. <laughs> <laughs> One for the blooper. <laughs> <laughs>